foremost a teacher, and that the deepest concern in his heart was always education. He is remembered at Rugby and Westminster and Marlborough as such, and it was his primary consideration and concern that led him to establish this school. On the 3rd of October, 1866, he slipped on a causeway of planks between the bank of a river somewhere in East India and the steamer Rodas, on which he was touring Bengal and Assam. He fell and disappeared. All efforts to find him failed, as one mourner quoted from chapter 5 of Genesis. And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. Mr. Abhay Shukla. He's an old friend of the school. Ma'am, Mircha Ma'am, served in junior school for quite a long time. And we are very, very happy to welcome them both back here. <laughs> Mr. Shukla graduated with English honors from St. Xavier's College in my hometown, Calcutta did his master's from Hindu College, Delhi, taught for a couple of years in Delhi University before joining the Indian Administrative Service in 1975. He served in Delhi as well as in Himachal Pradesh and when he retired in December 2010, it was as the additional Chief Secretary of the state. Thank you so much, both of you, for coming. The service stage is yours. And I firmly believe that a school like BCS would have fulfilled its charter if it can turn out responsible, well-adjusted, forward-looking citizens rather than just toppers 
citizens who are armed with the values of life, with the values, the permanent values which will stand them in good stead in later life. Purpose of education is not just the pursuit of academic excellence. The aim of education is to build character and to impart those values in a child which will sustain him when he grows up to be an adult.